What's up, you guys? So, we haven't heard much from Will Smith since his infamous moment at the Oscar Awards last March where he slapped Chris Rock straight across the face for making a distasteful joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's bald haircut. But Will Smith is back in the headlines today after his appearance on a new episode of David Letterman's Netflix show, My Next Guest Needs No Introduction. Will Smith appeared on the show for an informal sit-down interview prior to the Oscars, and he revealed that he actually had a vision slash hallucination about his money, his house, and basically his career flying away after using a herbal or herbal hallucinogenic drink. So we're going to get into that tea and how it relates to what he did at the Oscars. Will Smith appeared on the show to promote his memoir, Will, which was released by Penguin Press last November. The interview was recorded months prior to him slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars, but it explains a lot about what may have led to him slapping Chris Rock instead of just sitting there and taking the joke like he started to do. The interview started off with him talking about growing up watching his dad harm his mom and him feeling like a coward for just watching and not actually doing anything to protect his mom from his dad. He says that he felt like a coward as a young child for just watching and not intervening and the only thing that helped him control that feeling of being a coward was comedy. Once he learned that laughter and negativity cannot exist in a person's body at the same time, then he threw himself into making people laugh and becoming an entertainer. He also talked about a visit to a shaman where he used an herbal hallucinogenic drink as part of a session to essentially help him find clarity. From what he described, the drink is used to help bring whatever is at the back of your mind to the forefront of your mind so that you can confront it. And so when he used the drink, it showed him a hallucination or a vision of his money, his house, his career literally flying away from him. And he admitted that this is a fear that he has in real life. This is what was or is at the back of his mind. He lived in fear of losing everything that he has built in Hollywood. And he said that the only thing that brought him out of the vision was hearing his daughter Willow calling to him for help. From his description, Willow was not physically present with the shaman, but her voice was part of the vision and her voice calling to him for help is what made him prioritize his family over his career, over his money, over his house, and over everything that was flying away. He left the vision with a feeling that he could handle losing any and everything, his money, his house, his career, everything. He could handle losing everything as long as he had his family. So now, seeing what happened in March at the Oscars makes more sense now that we know what was going on in Will Smith's head when the slap happened. He didn't want to feel like a coward anymore after witnessing his dad harm his mother. And he didn't care if he lost his career, his money, or whatever because he already had this overwhelming feeling that he could handle losing any and everything other than his family because of the vision that he had. So this was a really deep and relevant revelation considering how things are working out for Will Smith right now. He risked his career, his money, and everything that he built to do what he considered defending his family at the Oscars, defending his wife. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about Will Smith revealing that he used a hallucinogenic and had a vision slash hallucination that his money, his house, and his career was flying away, but he could handle it as long as he didn't lose his family. Leave a comment and let me know what you think about that. Personally, I still don't think it was okay to do what he did to Chris Rock, but I feel like now we have more of an insight into why he did what he did. But leave a comment and let me know what you think. As always, thanks for watching.